Hey, this is Ralph, and in this video I want to continue working on this uh, very basic drop-down navigation menu. Okay, so I'm trying to illustrate how easy it is to set up one of these basic drop-down menus. And in the last video, we constructed the HTML side of things, where we simply had an unordered list, several list items, and one of the list items can contained a completely independent unordered list. And on the CSS, there really hasn't been too much, um, but one of the important steps is setting the position of list items to position relative, and then the child unordered list of a parent list item is going to be position absolute. So this is basically positioning this, the submenu based on its parent list item. All right, now part of the um, some of the little visual anomalies I guess we're having is because I've got all these borders on there to kind of illustrate you know the various parts. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of some of these borders and just some of them though. So for instance I don't need that red border anymore for my unordered list and I think instead of putting a green border in the list items I'm going to change that to an outline. For my child unordered list I'll get rid of that border completely. And for my anchors, I'm going to get rid of that border, but I will put in a background color. Light gray. So now when I save this, browser refresh, there we go. So now we can kind of see what's going on a little bit. Now that I've taken out some of those borders and outlines and things like that, it's becoming a little bit clearer that things are lining up. But definitely my submenu is lined up next to my... Um, my item one, my parent list item. I'm going to put a little bit of margin right on my list items. So that they're pressed a little further apart. I'm going to go a little bit more though. Part of what you're not seeing, you're going to say, wait a minute, that's not five pixels. Say I'm still, I'm using this outline here, and this outline is, you know, two pixels and two pixels. So it's putting a, a smaller gap in there. So I'll put in something like 10, so they're really far apart. So now it's now it's a little bit more obvious what's going on. And I'm going to go ahead and take these list items, and I'll put a little margin bottom on them too. About 6 pixels. So those are a little further apart. Now the whole trick with the unordered list, I'm sorry, with the uh, submenu item, is that I don't want them to appear by default. I only want them to be seen when a person hovers over that parent list item. So what I'll do is I'm going to go to this unordered list, which we've positioned in a good spot, and I'm going to set display none. That little trick there gets rid of it. So since display none gets rid of that unordered list, display block is what I'll use to put it back. Very easily, nav one, and I guess I will do a list item hover. And then the child unordered list. Display block, there we go. So when I hover over a list item, the unordered list that's a child of that list item will go to display block. Save this, browser refresh, and now that's going to pop up. Now I don't have submenu items for these other ones. I'll add them in, in just a, the very end. Okay, so hover, and there we go. Now let's see what happens here. If I move down, look with this. As soon as I start to move my anchor tag down, I lose my menu item. So let's figure out what's going on here. I'm going to go to this outline and get rid of that outline real quick just so the gap really stands out to you. And you'll see that there's actually quite a bit of a space between my main menu item and my submenu. And what happens as soon as I move my mouse off of that main list item, I'm no longer hovering on it, so my submenu goes back to display none. So I need to make sure that I'm always hovering over that parent list item. So what I need to do is I need to get rid of that gap there. Now that gap between my parent list item and that submenu item is basically with my positioning. My anchor tags are 40 pixels tall, yet my submenu has been positioned 45 pixels away from that first list item. So there's that gap. If I change this positioning to 40 pixels, 
save this browser refresh. There's no gap, and I can move my mouse safely down the submenus. But I don't like that look, right? I do want some space in there. So the trick is, don't space out the unordered list. Don't put a margin top on that unordered list. Don't adjust the positioning there. Instead, let me head up to the actual list items. And maybe instead of a margin bottom, what if I did a margin top? Save that. Browser refresh. Looks like there's a visible gap. But notice I can slowly bring my pointer down to all those menu items. There we go. So to illustrate what's going on here, let me jump back real quick to the code. And I'll go ahead and do this real fast. Within nav1, I've got a nav. And there's a child unordered list. And there's a child list item. This is going to be just the parent menu item. I'll just do a outline, two picks, solid red. And then I will also just do a quick copy, paste child unordered list. That's going to be the submenu. I'll do a green on that one. I'm going to save this. Browser refresh. So now when I hover over, here's where you can really see what's happening, is that I can easily go from my parent menu item, and I'm still hovering over my first list items in here, my first unordered list. So because I'm always got that hover, there's no gap, submenu stays visible. So that's the basics with a drop-down menu. Thank you.